My name is Chris Harper. I'm the Global Product Manager for MagPower and today we're going to show you how to rebuild a global brake using a standard rebuild kit from MagPower. Your kit should contain two coil gaskets, two bearings, two powder seals, two sizes of retaining rings, a magnetic media charge that's sized to your size of brake, and a powder hole fill hole plug. First step is to remove the locking collar by taking out both set screws. Next step, using a pair of retaining clip pliers, remove both external retaining snap rings. Next step is to remove the junction box cover. Next, remove the terminal strip from the coil wires. Next step, remove the three bolts that hold the two brake halves together. Next step, remove the coil and gaskets and dispose of the magnetic media. Next step is to remove the rotor from this half of the stators by using a soft faced uh, mallet or a press against the rotor bore. Next, remove both powder seals by using a flat blade screwdriver. Remove both bearings by using a soft face mallet against the bearing. Now remove each retaining ring on the inside of the stator. Next remove the powder fill plug using a punch and hammer from the inside out. Discard all bearings, powder seals, gaskets, snap rings, and magnetic powder. These parts must be replaced and are included in the repair kit. After cleaning external surfaces, all the internal surfaces must be wiped down with isopropyl alcohol. And you must be careful not to touch these surfaces with your fingers as you do the assembly process. Install the internal snap rings under the stators. Then press the powder seals on top of the snap rings with the internal lip facing to the inside of the brake. The 
seals should bottom out onto the internal snap ring. Take the stator with the fill hole and put it to the side. Install the rotor into the other stator with a short shaft going in first. You should use a shim to protect the seal from the edges on the rotor. Install the bearing into the stator. Please note that the bearing has a shield on one side and a seal on the other. Insert the bearing seal side inside into the stator. Use two to three drops of wicking Loctite on the inner and outer race of the, each of the bearing. The bearing will bottom out on the seal. Install external snap ring to retain the bearing. Take a soft faced mallet and tap on the rotor so that the snap ring presses against the bearing. Install the coil seal on each side of the coil by pressing into the fit of the coil ring. Insert the coil into the stator, aligning the wires through the junction box. Assemble the other half of the brake stator by pressing over the rotor long shaft using a shim to protect the seal from the sharp edges on the rotor shaft. Then install the three bolts, keeping the halves together. Next, insert the bearing with the seal side to the inside of the brake, again using Loctite on the internal and external races. Then install the external snapper. Install the lock washers and nuts on the back side of the bolts and tighten until the halves are completely clamped together. Put the brake at a 45 degree angle and insert the magnetic media bottle tip into the fill hole and rotate the rotor as it will help pull the powder into the brake. Insert all of the powder that's included in the bottle. Insert the powder plug into the hole and tap on the stem. Then install the locking collar back onto the rotor shaft. Merely rotate the rotor shaft to ensure smooth operation of the rotating parts. The brake is now ready to be put back into operation.